Hey guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. I'm Jennifer, and today I have a viewer requested video for you. I'm gonna be giving you a tour inside of my office closet. I'm gonna share with you how I store so many things in a small space, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so right now I'm actually sitting in my living room, which is a very open concept. I have my kitchen over here, my dining room's over there, the schoolroom's back there, and this used to be our coat closet, but I really needed an office space. You might have remembered this area from my command center video, and recently I did a day in the life video where you kinda got a sneak peek of this new office closet. I just recently redid it, so a lot prettier and definitely more organized. I'm very happy to share it with you today. Oh yes, but before I get started, make sure to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already, because I like to show organizing videos on this channel all the time. Now I can get started. Okay guys, now this is definitely not a tutorial video on how to make an office closet, but I will share with you kind of how we started. We started by removing everything that was currently in the closet, which was a desk, and a really old shelf. And then my husband painted the walls. Next, my husband took some old scrap wood that he had and he cut two new shelves and a desktop for me. So once we had our shelves in and the desk, it was time to organize it. And I used a lot of items from Ross, Target, the Dollar Tree, and Hobby Lobby. Okay guys, now I wasn't kidding when I said I was able to store a lot of stuff in this very small space. I have stuff over there and over here, and then I have two shelves with lots of stuff, and I even have room for some decorative items as well. I think I'll go ahead and start with this top shelf first, and then I'll work my way down. And please excuse the shadows. It is about 6 p.m. now, and it's not the brightest <laughs> anymore, but we're gonna make it work. On my top shelf here, I have four bins from the Dollar Tree, and these two over here in the corner are actually empty right now, so I do have some room to grow. These two, I'll go ahead and pull those down in just a second and show you what's in there, but before I do that, I'll show you my cute little farm sign. This was from Target, the dollar spot at Target, and then I have two of these metal galvanized looking um, F signs, and these are both from Hobby Lobby. They were actually on clearance, for only $2.50, but unfortunately this one kinda doesn't work very well. That's as bright as it gets. I have another one, it's sister over here, that works a lot better. So, I have two of those in honor of the family fudge, of course. So, I'll go ahead and show you. I'll take these down and show you what I have in these two bins. Okay, so here we have the two bins from the top shelf. There's not a lot in here. I'm only keeping what I really need. And as you can probably tell, I really like this sort of aqua teal color. So in this bin, I have my labeler. I also have my mini hot glue and my mini hot glue gun. I also have some command hooks, a really old calculator like from high school. That's how old it's, that's how old it is. I also have some adhesive square label pockets from Target. I also have some extra paper for my planner. And then I have this really cute picture frame that Mackenzie made. And I think she was three, like three years old when she made this. So cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put all that stuff back in there and move over to this bin. And in, in here I have an extra set of headphones, also from Target. My selfie stick, which I rarely ever use, rarely. And then I have this little pop filter that goes with my microphone, which I also hardly ever use, and I probably <laughs> should start using. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those back on the shelf, and then we'll work our way down. Moving on to our second shelf, we have sort of the decorative area. Now I do hope to change this out seasonally a little bit, but not too crazy. Right now I just have this thankful sign from Hobby Lobby, a little ceramic pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. And then this guy, this is a painted mason jar that I crafted, and it's full of so these beautiful flowers from the Dollar Tree. 
This vase was super easy to make and was really inspired by my friend Kelly Barlow over at Kelly Barlow Creations. She makes a lot of really cute crafts like this and so much more, so definitely check out her channel. I will link it down below. Also over here I have this sign from Target and it just says Outdream Yourself and it's kind of a foil so it might be hard to see but I just really like this. It kind of went with my color scheme here. Moving in this direction I have four of these metal file folders and these are also from the Target dollar spot but they were five dollars a piece. Now I'm not going to show you what's inside of these because it's basically important documents and then we have like contracts and then some miscellaneous things and then my kids school stuff so I just keep those in there and I was going to label these but literally this office closet is just for me I don't really need anybody else to go through my stuff so as long as I know where it is I don't think it needs a label moving over here I have sort of my happy planner section in this container I have all of my uh, stickers and you can see my palette knife is in there, some washi tape. Right here I have my um, travel bag for all of my planner stuff in case I wanna take it with me um, out of town. And then up here I have two of my happy planners that I'm using right now. I have the seasonal one that you've seen. And then I also have this secondary one. And then way up here I have this under shelf basket. It actually just slides right out, it hangs on the shelf, and in here I have whoop, my seasonal washi tape, and then I have this divided storage case for the rest of my washi tape. Yes, I really like washi tape. Oh, and this, you guys, is actually a plate shelf meant for your kitchen cabinets, but I'm using it in here. So, all of those things fit perfectly in that corner. Moving on to this section, we'll start over here. I have this wire um, file organizer and I got this from Ross. It has one, two little sections here. And in here I just keep books, mostly books that I'm working on right now. I have a, um, like a family home evening book. I have my really awesome cookbook that my friend Fallon sent me. Love the Pioneer Woman, thanks Fallon. And then I also have this book that I'm currently working on. This is Tear Free in Disneyland. You guys, if you don't know, I love Disneyland. We're actually headed there in a couple of days. And this book's all about, you know, going with your kids and having a good time, not having any meltdowns. Let's see, we'll wait and do the uh, desk stuff later. So I'll go ahead and move over here. Over here I have another one of these wire um, under shelf baskets. And in here I keep all of my notebooks. And as you can probably tell, I really love notebooks. I have this one, and then I have this owl one. I have this one, pink and teal. And then I also have this one. And all of these notebooks came from Ross, and they were all only $2.99 a piece. And so I use notebooks all the time. Um, some of these are filled, some of these are empty still, but I just keep them right here. Just like that. Moving over here, I have my calendar. I like a really big calendar so that I can see it from a distance. And then I have my other F sign, and this one works a lot better than the other one, so we keep it down lower. And then I have this cart. Now it's meant to be a rolling cart, but since it's up on my desk, I didn't need it to roll. And I really like this for storage because it just fit perfectly. I don't know if you can tell, but this wall here is a little bit angled, so not a lot of things would fit here, but this totally would. And this is very similar to a cart that you can find at Ikea, but I got this one because I wanted it in white. So this is from Target, I think it was like $30. So I'll go ahead and start on the top shelf here. I have some binders. This is my uh, family fudge binder where I keep um, my notes and future projects and things like that. And then in this front section, I have my tape dispenser. And then nothing's over here. And then this guy is actually a desk organizer. So I'll go ahead and pull it out and give you a closer look of what's in here. Because it's kind of full of stuff. Right here. Ooh. Okay, so in here I have my stapler, my staple remover, 
and some staples. And in this section, I have the washi tape that I use most often on like a day-to-day -day basis. And then in here, I have all of my chargers. I need a lot of chargers. I go through a lot of juice on all my different things. And then if you're a Disney fan, you'll probably recognize this one. Definitely need to take this with me um, to Disneyland and exchange it for a new one. That's that. And then in these sections, I just have all of my little sticky notes and flags and things like that. So I'll go ahead and put this back. There we go. And move on to my next section. Now within this cart, I have these little organizers from the Dollar Tree. Um, just to keep things a little bit organized. In here I have a big flashlight. I always want to know where a flashlight is in case I have an emergency. I know it's always there unless one of my kids takes it, which hopefully they won't. And that's one of the great parts about having this office closet is because I can actually close the door and lock it. So no kids, nobody can get in if I don't want them to. Okay, so in this basket I have my little tripod and then I have my secondary camera. Now I actually have two of these cameras. I'm using one right now and this is my backup. <clears throat> this is my backup camera. A lot of you ask what I'm using and it's nothing fancy. This is the Sony Handycam 9.2. Yeah, my husband picked it out. It seems to be okay. It's not super expensive, but it's also not like the best quality, but it's good enough. I think it's fine. So I just keep it in there and then with this one that I'm using right now, I also keep it in there when I'm not using it. And then in this one over here, I keep my kids um, camera. This is a kid zoom camera from VTech. They really like it. It's a lot of fun. And then back over here, this is the uh, phone mount to this little tripod. Now down over here, I have all of my sort of office supplies. Let's see, in this one I have all of my pencils. Back here I have markers and highlighters. In this one, I don't know if you can tell here, I'll pick it up here, I have all of my tape. In this front one, I have all of my pens, lots of pens. And then in this one, oops, that's supposed to be over there. In this one, I have all of my clips. So I have binder clips, but then I also have magnetic clips. And so these will actually go right here. If I need to like post something, I can do that right there. And then in that one way back there, I have rubber bands. And then hiding way back over here, I have my little discs here if I need to copy off anything. Now I almost forgot to show you on the side of this cart, I have a lot of these little containers. Now these are magnetic and they're from the Dollar Tree. You get two for a dollar. And I could keep them over here, but I don't want my kids to get into them. And I kind of like that um, it's not so busy over here. So I usually keep them around the corner. But they have things like this one has paper clips. We have magnets. We have round paper clips. Let's see, in this one I have more paper clips. This one has staples. Let's see, this one has more magnets. This one is empty, so we do, do have some room to grow. This one has push pins. And then this one is also empty. So, there's a, so many storage possibilities with these carts, I love them. Okay, so now we're moving on to the desk area itself. I have another one of these vases, just like the one from up here. But this one actually is kind of different because I've attached a pen to each of these little flowers. You guys ever make these? My mom used to make these when I was a kid. So you can actually write and then it just looks like a decoration. So I have those right there, easy to grab. On my desktop, I keep a little um, coaster because I almost always have a little drink next to me. And this is just one from a dollar store, really cheap. Let me move my light over here. Here I just have my computer standard computer. It's sitting on top of this computer stand, which was from Target. This was $24.99, so it was a little bit pricey for me, but I like it because it keeps everything sort of ergonomic. You know, you don't want to really be looking up at your computer, but you also don't want to be looking down because it'll strain your neck and your eyes and things like that. So this actually has a little drawer. You pull it out here. So in here I just keep extra notepads, a hole punch and more sticky notes and a checkbook and things like that. And then over here, let's see, I moved my keyboard so I had space here, so I'll put it back. Okay, so my keyboard goes there and then I have this really nice little gel filled um, 
wrist rest so when I'm working for a long time it doesn't like kill my wrists and it also came with this little um, pad as well although one of my kids touched it with dirty hands but oh well so I found this on Amazon I'll go ahead and link it down below if I can find it it, it did come in other colors so next time I might get black so it doesn't show as much wear and tear over here I have a little stand this is a USB stand and so I can charge a lot of things over here in this basket. This basket sort of hides all of my cords and things like that. In here I keep my headphones that I use when I'm editing. Also, of course, the mint green color or aqua, whatever you prefer. I have a very long like 10 foot phone charger cord. And then I have this other cord that stays plugged in so I can actually sit here and plug my or charge my phone right here when I'm sitting at the desk. And then I just have some more, uh, let's see, a battery pack and things like that. So that's all for that basket. And this basket, all these metal baskets, these white ones, they all came from Ross and they are really cheap. This one was like $7.99. This one was $5.99. This pencil holder was only $2.99 and they're all metal, really nice and sturdy. So in my little pencil holder here, I just have things that I use often. So I have some scissors, nail file, pencils, and some pens, nothing fancy. Just keep that back there. And then I have my lamp. I got my lamp from Ross, and it was originally sort of like a darker off-white color, but I repainted it and sort of distressed it so it looks a little bit more farmhouse chic I would say. Back over here I have one of these tall canisters of tissues and I like this tall slender one because it just fits perfectly right there. And then we have the speakers and I think that is everything for the desktop. I do have one more thing of storage underneath. I'll go ahead and show that to you real quick. Okay guys, so I went ahead and brought this up to the desk so you could see it better, but I keep this under the desk and it doesn't like get in the way of my legs or anything like that. I keep it way in the back because it has things that I don't really need to get to very often. Now I got this little storage tower from Walmart and I like this one because it has a sort of woven design. It just looks a little bit nicer, I think. <laughs> well, okay, so in this top drawer I have this little pouch and I'll show that to you in a second but basically it's the letters that go with this sign. I really love this marquee sort of sign. I got this one from Target and it was $19.99 but I know that Walmart has basically the same thing for $9.99. So it just has this little switch. You can turn it on. I don't know if you can tell what the light is on right now and you can change it out to say whatever you want. So in this little pouch I just keep all the letters you can change what the message says. So I keep that in there, and I also have a clipboard, and that is it. So I'll go ahead and turn that off, stick that back in there, and move on to my next drawer. In this drawer, I have two of these um, little baskets from the Dollar Tree, and it's just keeping things separated and a little bit more organized. Sometimes with these deep drawers, they tend to just like, everything goes everywhere. But these little baskets really help. In this first, envelope I have all of my stamps. I used to always lose my stamps so here we go. All of the stamps go in there and then I have my really nice scissors that I'm supposed to be using for fabric but I don't really sew anymore. I have some magnet strips. I like these for um, flashcards and things like that. I have this little timer from the Dollar Tree. I have a package of these white string tags also from the Dollar Tree, some poster tack. And then I have these guys, these are just white hooks. Okay, I'll go ahead and stick all those things back in there and move on to my last drawer. In my last drawer, I have my quote of the day calendar. I really like this, my husband got this for me. And I actually save them, I don't tear them off and throw them away, I keep it like a book almost. And then in here, I have something that I haven't used yet. Um, but I really should be using it, and that is my Yeti, I think it's a Yeti brand microphone. So there it is, right there. I have some plans for this, but I haven't just, I just haven't had time for it yet. But there it is. So someday, I will use this microphone. Yeah, someday. 
Okay, so I went ahead and put that back in the corner where it goes. And then lastly, we just have this little swivel chair. It's from Ikea. I'm not super impressed with it. It's not very comfortable, but it fits here. I really needed a chair that would fit all the way under so that I could close this door over here where I have the command center. And back over here underneath, I have all of my wires and my hard drive and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not gonna show you that. It's not very, it's not very pretty. But all of that stuff is necessary to have a computer in your closet. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.